What's going on? Facebook, YouTube, and all the other social media networks. This is Kevin at Kevin's Corner. And I have a question for Nancy Pelosi. Her, she went on an eight-hour rant the other day about illegal immigration, the Dreamers, and immigration as a whole. Apparently, she doesn't want immigration reform uh, because she wants to make America a nice big melting pot. Or maybe she wants to make sure that we hold up to the old school American values and, and all of the information that they throw out about. This is what we stand for as America. Remember the Statue of Liberty. We're one big melting pot. We embrace everybody. Take on your week, your whatever. But it seems in that whole eight hour rant that she forgot to rant about Americans. Hmm? So my question for you, Nancy, is when will American lives matter? Yeah, we know that immigrant lives matter. We know that, uh, according to you. But it seems like the dirty Dems, and particularly you in this case, don't recognize that American lives matter. During that eight-hour rant, did you ever mention, say, Kate Steinle? Huh? Did you rant about her? Would you stand and talk about Kate Steinle for eight hours straight? Or how about um, maybe Jamal Shear? Eight hours talking about the Americans that lost their lives to illegal immigrants. What about Edwin Jackson, the football player, the young man who had dreams to probably grow up and become an NFL player, just like myself. I was I was a ball player. I, I, I wanted to grow up and experience the, the American dream. I mean, every kid wants to be a professional athlete. This man made it. I'm sure he was taking care of his family. I'm sure everybody in his family was excited. Wow, this might be our ticket out. And then his life was cut short by an illegal immigrant who shouldn't have been here in the first place. See, that's what the left don't get, Nancy, is that it's cause and effect. If they weren't here illegally, if they would have got deported and we would have implemented real immigration reform, if we would have put real safeguards in place so that when we do take them back over, they're not able to just come right back into America. And if they weren't here then people wouldn't have lost their lives. Cause and effect, not just people, but American citizens, see? And so when people say, well, you know, the immigrants, they don't uh, commit uh, that much crime, it doesn't matter. Well, nobody's trying to say that all immigrants are bad or commit crime, but the percentage that does affect American lives. And apparently, American lives don't matter to you. See, only lives matter to the Democrats is voters' lives, people who will contribute or add to their voter base. That's the only lives that matter. I mean, uh, Edwin Jackson was an NFL football player. He was a black man. Nobody's out there protesting. Where's, where's Black Lives Matter? Why aren't they out there? Why aren't they protesting about this? I, I guess uh, illegal immigrants on black crime don't matter. I mean, I heard from a, 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 a agent, a Border Patrol agent, he said that in the last 20 years, 25,000 American citizens were killed by illegal immigrants here in America. I guess those lives don't matter. You didn't stand for eight hours talking about them. What about what about Kayla and Nisi, the two little girls, I think, in New York that was killed by MS-13 uh, gang members? I guess their lives don't matter. I guess that it is more important to sacrifice a whole eight hours defending your future voter base than to defend American citizens. Do American lives matter? That's all I want to know. It sounds like they don't. It sounds to me like the Democratic Party have really forgotten about American citizens. And they wonder how Donald Trump won. They sit back and they say, I can't believe this man got him because most Americans with any brains can see that you guys don't really care about black. You don't care about white. You don't even care about the immigrants, the Mexican immigrants, the Latino immigrants or whatever immigrants. All you care about is your voter base. See, whenever something will benefit the Democratic Party, they will throw all laws out of the window, just straight out the window. We don't care about all that stuff. I mean, you don't care about the fact that just the, just the point that they broke the law to get here in America in the first place violates the laws. But hey, we can wink at a law that benefits us. Yeah, 
Let's not fix immigration policies. Let's not deal with the uh, influctuation of, of immigrants coming in. We don't want that problem dealt with. Who cares about Kate Steinle? Who cares about Jamal Shear or, or Edwin Jackson? Who cares about them? In fact, we don't even want to bring them up in my eight-hour rant. We don't want the liberal media talking about them either. See, I would think that since a black man was killed, a black football player was killed, Two black girls were killed. You know, I would think to CNN being the righteous and MSNBC being the social justice that they are would all be on there like it's terrible. A black man or two black girls were killed by. You know why they're not talking about that? Probably because they don't want to bring a negative light, a negative spotlight on illegal immigration. They probably want to downplay that. Same thing with you, Nancy. Probably want to sweep that under the rug and let's not highlight those incidents. Let's just say those are just isolated incidents. Yeah, it doesn't cover the masses. But yet, when a cop shoots a black man, this is an all-out epidemic. It's rampant. It's not an isolated incident. Right, CNN, MSNBC? This is a full-blown epidemic. They're killing them everywhere. You know? This is crazy. Even though... More Americans were killed last year by illegal immigrants than cops killed black men. But nobody's marching. No Black Lives Matter, nothing. Everybody's just like, mm -mm, shh, keep that quiet. We don't want it to get out that we really don't care about black people. Because if I did, I would shut down everybody's day talking eight hours straight, Nancy, about all the black men that were killed in Chicago and all over the place with black on black crime. You know, I would spend all my day uh, CNN and MSNBC talking about all of the black on black crime and the lives that were lost throughout the whole year. Or I would spend my time chaining myself up in front of whoever is running Chicago Black Lives Matter since you want to block stuff. Super Bowl, chaining yourself up. Nah, we ain't going nowhere. We shall overcome. Go to Chicago, chain yourself up in front of the democratically ran government there that is allowing the crime to run rampant and kill all types of black lives. If black lives matter, I guess they don't. So to the Democrats, to Nancy, until you stand eight hours defending our police, defending our military, apparently their lives don't matter either. Y'all shut the whole government down a couple weeks ago, which included funding our military, shut them down just because of the illegal immigrants, just because you guys are trying to sort up our, the, the voter base in the future. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. It's like, you know what? We can't just straight come out and tell everybody that. So we got to make it seem like we're doing this because we're so concerned and compassionate and we're willing, willing to throw everybody under the bus. Yeah, we're willing to throw Kate Steinle under the bus. We're willing to throw Kayla and Nisi and, and Edwin Jackson. We're willing to throw uh, Jamal Shears under the bus and all the rest of the Americans that were killed by legals that shouldn't have even been here in the first place. Not just shouldn't have been here, but were taken out of the country, came back multiple times, only to have murdered somebody in America, whether it's accident or purpose cause and effect. If we would have took them out of the country and had real security on our borders, they would have never came back to result in killing someone. So San Francisco, who let the guy who killed state uh, Kate Stanley go, you have blood on your hands. And you also have blood on your hands with Edwin Jackson, because the man who ran into him and the Uber driver got locked up twice in San Francisco and let go. Why do they do that? You ever wonder, why would you keep doing that? You know why? Because they're going, if we let America know how many people were victims of illegal immigrants that is over here, it would shine such a light on illegal immigration that Americans probably wouldn't stand for it. They probably wouldn't view it as, oh, we're just trying to be embracive and inclusive. They probably would be going, wait a minute, man. Uh, we got to do something about it. We got to tighten some of this stuff up. So when those type of cases come up, we'd rather let those criminals go. You know, I'm talking serious crimes, not just, oh, yeah, this guy got a parking ticket. We're going to throw everybody in the same category, whether it's a minor crime, serious crime, just let them go. Because if we really focused on that, if we allowed the statistics to get out, 
people will start going, this is a bigger problem than y'all say it is. So we're going to let them all go. That's what we're going to do. We don't want no negative press coming towards illegal immigrants in America because that's going to mess up our agenda. And surely you don't want to do that, right, Nancy? In fact, it proves it since you were willing to stand eight hours straight fighting for illegal immigrants. But do American lives matter? I guess not. I mean, apparently the Democratic Party don't think so, considering they are sweeping justice. They're sweeping the laws under the table. Look at that. We had American citizens illegally surveilled. But because they did it in an effort to undermine Donald Trump, we wink at that. They're like, nah, we don't really want to go in hard on that. Yeah, even though they violated the Constitution, even though they're violating Americans' lives, uh, their rights, their privacy, even though they're ruining people's reputation. If it works out for us, it's not really a law. It's just an inconvenience. That's all. It's a tool that we use to get what we want. You know, and the way you know this, and I'm going to ask this to every single Democrat, Nancy, Chuck, the rest of the crew, all of those people. First of all, if you are a minority, black, whatever, even if you are a legal immigrant here, you should not jump on the bandwagon with this humanitarian movement that the Democrats want you to get involved with, trying to fight for legal immigrants' rights and so on and so forth. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, if we could do something for the DACA people, great. But not at the expense of the wall, not at the expense of dealing with all of the other immigration policies, chain migration, the visa, all of that stuff. We need it. All right. You're getting what you want. You're getting potential amnesty and legalization for the dreamers. So why won't you protect American citizens unless American lives don't matter? Now, back to what I was saying. This is my question to every Democrat, Nancy, Chuck, all of y'all. All right. If you are so sincere about illegal immigrants getting amnesty, getting legalization, would you still fight for them if they all registered Republican? I'm going to let that sink in. If they all came over here and they said, you know what? We're so thankful to be here. The first thing we're going to do when we get citizenship is go down and register Republican. Would you still be fighting to get them here? See, that's where you expose the motive of the dirty Democrats, because that's what they really are up to. So, Nancy, the rest of y'all, does American lives matter? Apparently not to the Democrats. You've been listening to Kevin, at Kevin's Corner. If you like this video, hit like, share it to everybody. Send it to Nancy, send it to Chuck. Since she want to stand up there for eight hours whining about people coming to America and they deserve citizenship. They deserve, and we're melting pot. And my granddaughter didn't even want to be white. She wanted to be mixed with something else. And I just said to my blah, 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 blah. Yes, yeah, send it to them and ask them, what about us? Do American lives matter or not? Now, you've been listening to Kevin at Kevin's Corner. If you like this video, hit like, share it. Um, if you want to donate to Kevin's Corner, there are links in the bottom that will allow you to do so. And find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and all the other social media networks. And let's keep this thing going. Write your congressmen, your senators, all of them. Ask them the question, where do we fit into this equation? Everybody want to protest for everything else, you know. But why can't we protest and fight for the rights and the protection of Americans? Don't our lives matter? Mm-hmm. Anyway, God bless you. Catch you next time. Kevin's Corn.